Hey there, how y'all doing? Welcome back again for a new video. So, you finally decided to install NixOS, but you don't know how to do that. Maybe because you're just a beginner. You probably never installed Linux in your life. So, how will you know how to install NixOS? That's why, in today's video, we're gonna be installing NixOS. So, let's just get right into it. The first thing, you're gonna choose any browser of your choice in order to download NixOS. For me, I'm using Firefox, you could be using Chrome, and doesn't matter what browser you're using. All you have to do is search for next OS, just like that. And here, you're going to see the link, click on it. All right, so we're in the next OS webpage. You see that big button in here? Click on it. Simple and easy. So in here, we're not going to be using WSL2 or Mac OS or Docker or any of that. Just go down here and you see next OS, the Linux distribution. An ISO file, and that's all you need. You're going to need to download that. Depends on what you're going to be using. If you have an Intel or AMD, you can click on that one but if you have an arm cpu or whatever it's called select that one for me i have an intel cpu so that's why i will download next os for amd or intel then you're gonna wait for this to download it's not gonna take that much time so wait until that thing finish downloading and then we're gonna move to the next step after next os finished downloading all you have to do is either use rufus or balina etcher to make a bootable usb or you can just go with copying the files inside the iso to your usb this will work as well after making a bootable usb all you have to do now is plug it to your laptop or desktop and then you're ready to go for today's video i'm not going to be using a real machine but instead i'm going to be using a virtual machine in that case i'm using vmware workstation and equal to in case you are interested in installing this on a virtual machine the process is basically the same now let's just boot into this so we can get started with the installation we're going to select the first option and now it's going to start booting give it a couple seconds or even minutes depends on how fast is your laptop or desktop but usually it doesn't take that long waits and waits and waits and waits and i hate waiting for stuff to boot yeah all right next os do your job and place boots into the desktop environments okay so we're finally here and we're ready to install next os you can see that uh, we're in gnome i don't really like it i prefer kde uh, which i can change later on there is much more desktop environments that you can choose and uh, we're gonna see that just in a second so select the language for me i'm gonna be selecting american english and i'm just gonna click on next then select where you live do i live in asia well i change my location every single time and uh, for the sake of this video i'm gonna go somewhere in uh, i don't know what about europe yeah i'm still done perfect next select one of these for your keyboards and now all you have to do is enter your name and the password jason the password of course is definitely no one two three four five repeat the same thing in here here you go all right shorter than six characters okay add a six and add a six in here perfect i don't need that well yeah i need to log in without asking for the password no actually i don't want to log in automatically all right we're just gonna keep this like that next so that's where i was talking about we have gnome plasma xfce pantheon never heard of that one cinnamon matt matte i don't know how to pronounce that one. Oh, what is this lxqt budgie deepen and no desktop well if you feel cool enough then go with no desktop but for me i will select i don't know which one should i go with deepen uh lxqt well i'm confused right now plasma should i just go with plasma but like i'm tired of plasma i install kde plasma every single time and they daily use kde plasma so why not with uh, budgie yeah let's do it next next was this fully open source but it's also provide optional software a low on free software i'm not gonna load that and now partitions you can either erase or manual partition everything yourself for me i will just erase the disk and select next now i just have to check if everything is right before i proceed to install that thing for me it seems to be pretty okay no problems whatsoever so i'll just install and now all you have to do is be a little bit patient it's not going to take that long so relax sit down and wait for that thing to install i'm actually really interested for budgie because i never used that one i hope it's cool well 
It probably is, because it's Linux. Still suck at 46%? Oh, it's gonna be forever. My only advice for you, if you're gonna install Linux or any operator system, doesn't matter what it is, make sure you install this on an SSD or NVMe and never install it on a spin-in hard drive, you know? The worst experience ever. Yeah, if I was using an NVMe or an SSD, this was probably gonna take a couple minutes, but it's a hard drive, baby. All right, all right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient, god damn it. The installation is done, and now all we have to do is restart. Let's do that. Restart, done. Now it's gonna restart, and a couple seconds later, we have NixOS ready to boot. I'm gonna select the first option. Now wait a little bit. There you go. All right, so what was my password? Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And just like that, we made it to next OS. Oh well, the budgie desktop environment looks uh, promising so far. I like it. Look at that. Well, I gotta use a command real quick. Oh wait, the terminal shortcut doesn't work. Oh, because I'm not in KDE. Oh, I just forgot. All right, so where's the terminal? Here is it. Mix shell dash b fast fetch. You stupid. What do you mean command not found? Isn't this mix OS? Ah, how can I install fast fetch? Ah, oh, I don't have time. So that's why I will just ask Gemini. I don't want to just Google anything for the moment. So uh, Gemini is my savior. Hey, you son of a... How can I install FastFetch in uh, Mix OS? All right. To get FastFetch in Mac OS up and running, you'll need to use Homebrew, a package manager for Mac OS. What the f*** are you talking about? I'm asking you how to install Mix... No, how to install FastFetch in Mix OS. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's just Google that out. I definitely don't know how to use Max OS. I usually use Arch, by the way. All right, how to install FastFetch in Max OS. Right, huh? Well, well, what are you talking about? What Linux means? I'm not using Linux. God damn it, I'm losing my fucking mind. How do I do this? How to install Fetch? Wait, isn't this Max? Wait, am I tripping? It's called Max OS, right? Oh my God, I'm stupid, bro. I'm stupid. Ah, okay. Okay, I just realized it's not Max, it's Nix. Nix, shell, shell, on a speed. Fast fetch. Ah, oh, I feel so stupid. That's that silly. That's silly. I feel ashamed of myself. All right. Amazing. I'm not going to cut this in the editing. I'm going to keep it just to show you guys how stupid I am. All right. Fast fetch. And just like that, ladies and gents, we have Mix OS installed. That looked beautiful. I love it. The budgy desktop environment is just amazing. All right. This was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and maybe a comment. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.